Hey, what's up YouTube? This is the Mermail Master coming at you guys from the Team Time Riders YouTube channel with a brand new video series today that I'm going to be starting up. Uh, recently, I've gotten a lot of private messages and questions from people who have been interested in getting back into the game. Now, a lot of you guys have sent messages telling me, you know, like, you know, you might have been out of the game for a while and are getting back in, maybe have a couple of Mermail stuff and want to know how the deck has changed and evolved over the years to become sort of what it is today. So, in order to sort of answer all of those questions and do a multi-part teaching video on how mermails have sort of evolved over the years, I've decided to start this series. I'm going to start things out with an awesome combo video, labeling a couple of the really cool combos that you can take part in throughout the, um, throughout the time that you're spending with the deck and really uh, take the opportunity to understand how everything works. And yeah, um, I'm really excited to start this series and really excited to you know listen to you guys' feedback and see what other types of mermail-related content I should be producing. And please just let me know. So I guess without further ado, uh, we're gonna get started in these combo videos. It'll run through a lot of different plays in the Mermail deck and play style. It is a little bit of a comprehensive video going through a lot of different combos that the deck has. But uh, if you guys stick around for a little bit, then uh, yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy it. All right. All right. So for the first combo, all you're going to need is one copy of Deep Sea Diva and any water in your hand. I just chose Abyss Pike because, I mean, whatever. But um, this is a combo that's pretty much known to a lot of people. So um, yeah. Uh, just gonna go through the simplicity. Um, so you have to normal summon Deep Sea Diva. Um, this is a good first turn combo to make. And special summon Neptibus the Atlantean Prince. Now this is very important. You're gonna want to activate Prince's effect to send one Atlantean Dragoons to your graveyard to add one to your hand. So this is what your hand looks like right now. Um, then Atlantean Dragoons effect in the graveyard is going to trigger, allowing you to add Mermail Abyss Megalo from your deck to your hand. Then, now you have Mermail Abyss Megalo in two waters. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to discard the two waters to your graveyard to special summon the Megalo. And since this is first turn, of course, you can search out the Abyss Sphere if you want, um, whatever you want. Now you have three, um, and then at Dragoon's Effect, make sure to search out Moon Glacier, the Elemental Lord. Then, you're going to Synchro Summon with these two, and special summon Tatsunoko. Now, you have five waters in your graveyard, so go ahead and summon Moon Glacier the Elemental Lord, and that is the combo. So this next combo is gonna allow you to get a rank four on board with a couple of pops. Um, first, what we need to start out is either to have Abyss Pike or Abyss Turge in graveyard, and one of these two in your hand. So first, start out by summoning Mermail Abyss Turge. Discard Mermail Abyss Gunday to the graveyard, and you can add back any of the cards in your graveyard. So for this purpose, I'll add back Atlantean Heavy Infantry. Uh, Gunday's effect is going to activate, allowing you to special summon Abyss Pike from your graveyard, and then you can discard the Heavy Infantry to activate Pike's effect. Search whatever you want from your deck. You know, we could grab like Abyss Osha or something like that, and now, you have one extra card in your hand and a rank four play. On. This next combo is of similar line, which requires you to have at least one copy of Atlantean Dragoons in your graveyard and a way to discard uh, Neptibus the Atlantean Prince. This is another great way to go for a rank four. Um, either take Mermail Abyss Turge or Abyss Pike. Um, for this purpose, we'll take Turge, summon Turge, discard Prince, add whatever the heck you want from your graveyard back to your deck. And then Prince's effect, when it hits Graveyard for Water Monster's effect, Special Summons Dragoons, and then you go in for your rank four. If you're going second and have no way to tribute Prince on board, what you can do is you can easily discard Prince's for Water Monster's effects. So if you discard, for instance, Prince and Dragoons to Special Summon Mermail Abyss Megalo, uh, Prince's effect and Dragoons' effect will activate to search you like whatever you want from your deck. You know, maybe grab like 
even like another prince or something like that with dragoons and then prince's effect will special summon dragoons from your graveyard tribute it so megalo can attack twice and then you get another surf. so for this combo all you need is deep sea diva uh and aqua spirit in your hand and one copy of mermil whatever whatever water monster you want in your graveyard just so you can banish it um this play allows you to go for an instant trishula so you summon deep sea diva special summon atlantean marksman and then you can banish the Mermail Abyss Megalo to special Aqua Spirit 4 plus 3 plus 2. Synchro summon for 9. And enter in Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. Very, very clean and simple play. So for many Mermail players, everyone knows the OTK combos. Uh, when you open up Neptibus and Instant Fusion, it's a hand that's pretty much too good to be true. So what you want to do is if you open up Neptibus and Instant Fusion, uh, summon Neptibus. Neptibus effect will activate, allowing you to dump one Dragoons to the graveyard to add Dragoons from your deck to your hand, and then Dragoons' effect will add Mermail Abyss Megalo. Then what you can do is you can activate Instant Fusion. Instant Fusion's effect will activate Special Summoning Norden. Norden's effect will special summon Dragoons from your graveyard, and then you can overlay with Norden's plus Dragoons into anything you want, but most preferably like to go for Abyss Dweller. Abyss Dweller can then detach from Dragoons um, to the graveyard, and keep in mind this is your hand right here, pulling you pretty much anything that you want from your deck. So, um, depending on whether or not you're going to tribute the Neptibus for your play, or you're going to tribute something else, um, you can grab whatever sea serpent monster you want. For the sake of this exercise, though, I'm going to grab a copy of Atlantean Heavy Infantry due to its use. So now, with two cards, you have a Megalo play in your hand with two of these. So you can discard those two, special summon the Megalo, and then search whatever you want from your deck to your hand. Um, it doesn't matter at this point really what it is. Um, you know, just search something. Now, of course, Megalo, as you remember, can still search its uh, its trap card, but it's all depending on whether you, you know, really need that for your OTK play. And um, you know, since you have these in play, um, this is your graveyard right here. Uh, you can activate Megalo's effect, tribute the Prince. Now allows it to activate twice, and then Prince's effect will trigger, and you can special summon back Atlantean Dragoons. And this is twenty four twenty four. 8,000, and then each of these gets a 500 boost. So uh, this goes up to 23, this goes up to 29, and this is um, 22. And on an empty field, that's pretty much game. Um, as I mentioned, you still have the Atlantean Dragoon's ability to search. So if you wanted to, for instance, grab Diva instead and go for continued plays like that, what you could also do was to summon, instead of Dweller, like maybe on a first turn play, for instance, Special summon Bahamut Shark instead. And Bahamut Shark, as you know, will fetch you totally awesome. But instead of summoning Dragoons off of Megala, what you could also do was special summon one copy of Atlantean Heavy Infantry. And Heavy Infantry allows you to get an extra normal summon, which means you can summon Deep Sea Diva whose effect will be able to fetch you any other Sea Serpent you want out of the deck. So for instance, grabbing one of these, or you know, pulling some other plays, and continuing off on Synchro plays from there. But very, very potent and very effective. So depending on whether you're going first or second, um, you have a lot of options with just those two cards. You saw how easy it was to plus and get a whole bunch of stuff in your graveyard just simply by using those. And you can easily modulate the graveyard in the event that you want to go for a Mulan Glacier play. Do keep in mind, though, that Neptibus can only activate each of its effects once per turn. And, um, so it is a hard OPT, though not such a hard OPT, that it only limits you to activating. You can activate both of its both effects of Neptibus only once per turn. Uh, so that is one that. of my favorite first turn combos that I found very recently uh, allows you to make a board of two Bahama Shark and two P Totally Awesome with three cards on your first turn. And that is the combo with Mermail Abyss, Teus, Aqua Spirit, and any other water. Now, if you've seen my video before, I did a video showcasing the use of wind up cards to be able to make a one card totally awesome 
Um, very, very cool combo. But this one kind of extends your plays a little bit more, and in some instances, might even serve you much better than that one. Um, it doesn't rely on you running inconsistent cards or wasting extra deck space on certain things. Um, so, uh, you know Mermail extra deck space is intensely tight. So, um, yeah, let's uh, let's get into the combo. So, you need to start off with Mermail Abyss, Teus, Aqua Spirit, and any water. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, you're not going to use it. The only thing you need this water for is to discard for Mermail Abyss, Teus. Teus's effect will activate when it's summoned to the field, allowing you to grab... Uh, make sure to grab Mermail Abyss Osha. You will need your normal summon for this. Um, normal summon Mermail Abyss Osha and activate its effect to target Teus. Um, special summon monsters equal to Teus's level from the uh, from the deck. So you're going to special summon one copy of Mermail Abyss L uh, Gundy and Mermail Abyss Mander. Now, this water in the graveyard comes in use because you can banish that water from the graveyard to special summon... Uh, Aqua Spirit. So your Teus goes to the graveyard. So your field now should be Mermail Abyss Osha, Aqua Spirit, Mermail Abyss Mander, and Abyss Gund. So what you're first going to do is you're going to overlay Abyss Mander and Aqua Spirit in order to special summon Bahamut Shark. Bahamut Shark's effect will then activate and you make sure to detach Mermail Abyss Mander and send it to the graveyard. The effect will activate special summoning, special summoning uh, Totally Awesome to the field. And then, since you have two level 3s on board, you can activate Mermail Abyss Mander's effect from the graveyard, banish it to increase the levels of all Mermail monsters you control on the field by 1, which turns your level 3s suddenly into level 4s. So now you can overlay both of your level 4 monsters to special summon a second Bahamut Shark and detach any material from that second Bahamut Shark to special summon another copy of Totally Awesome. So that is one of my favorite new combos in the deck, uh, which leaves you with two Bahamut Sharks and two Totally Awesomes. A lot of really, really good negation. Um, in this day and age and in this format, Mermails do want to go first. Not necessarily because they're better at going first, but more so because like, you want to be able to assemble like your defenses and stuff first. It can be very, very tough for Mermails who still target and who still destroy to be able to out some of the things that your opponents, um, you know, put on board. And a lot of times, like negations, or even like a Vanity's Emptiness or a Dark Law, is enough to spell curtains for your deck. So you want to get these boards set. Um, so this is a really, really great way to have a first turn board with two negations and um, just have that pressure on your opponent. Aqua Spirit extends a lot of uh, play combo and potential in the deck, allowing you to push forward for cards that you wouldn't really be able to summon otherwise. Um, and then it has two very, very great uses. So the first use, of course, is using it as an extra special summon level four to go for rank four plays. But the second usage, um, you know, is something that I actually really like, which um, during your opponent's standby phase, if they control a monster, you can switch that monster to defense mode, or you can switch that monster's battle position, and then they cannot switch the monster's battle position back. So this is great for like XYZ monsters or any, you know, kind of, monster that is uh, you're sort of bearing down on you uh, to be able to switch the battle position of that monster with Aqua Spirit. But the main reason that I wanted to show you is a couple of ways which Aqua Spirit can extend your plays. And one of them was, of course, the Mermail card combo that leaves you with a copy of Mo uh, Moon Glacier, a copy of Megalo, and then one copy of Tatsunoko on board. Now, before you have Tatsunoko on board, um, or even before you get Moon and Glacier on board, uh, what you can easily do is, with that combo, um, it's the combo that starts with D.Va and any other water monster. Uh, you have the D.Va and Moon and Glacier, or the D.Va and Neptibus Yelanian Prince. You can tribute the Neptibus in order to special summon Dragoons from your graveyard. And with Dragoons from your graveyard, You can special summon Aqua Spirit using whatever you have in your graveyard and then be able to go for a rank 4 play. Even better, um, you can use Aqua Spirit and D.Va or in whatever sense in order to special summon, for instance, Coral Dragon. And, you know, this just puts a little, like, a couple more options on board for you.